everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. I thought I'd do a vlog today. I am invited to two events. So one is a Chanel beauty event and another one is a Prada event to preview the new holiday collection. So I hope that you guys enjoy what I'm going to show you and I thought we'd do a little get ready with me. It's so warm and sunny out. It's like 20 degrees, way above seasonal for November, but I'm not complaining. So I'm going to wear this beautiful, airy outfit. This is what I'm wearing. It's a skirt from Chanel. I purchased it in the sale. It's entirely silk, but it has a lot of movement. It's got a bow detail at the front. Super cute. And this is a close-up of the jacket. If you guys remember, I revealed this in my sale finds. This is from spring summer 2021 it's a linen jacket with bow details at the front i actually got this back from alterations it was really really big so they sized it down for me and i think it looks really good with this skirt so as for footwear i want it to be comfortable because i'm going to be walking around all day i actually made this purchase a while ago but i didn't get to film an unboxing and because i want to wear them today I might as well just do a little unboxing for you guys and include it in the vlog. So a very speedy little unboxing. So I was looking out for a pair of loafers. These loafers, like a lot of people are looking for, they're Rev now. So they're coming back every season. I didn't like them at first uh, when they first came out or rather I just didn't think I needed them. But they are the tongue loafers. At least I call them the tongue loafers and I can't unsee it. I feel like there's a huge tongue sticking out of the loafer and there's a little turn lock closure as well. So I thought they would look really nice for daytime with a skirt and really chic and just tying in the whole all full over Chanel look. But yes, so I'm going to be wearing those um, super comfortable because I knew I was going to be walking around uh, a lot. So I didn't want to wear like heeled boots. Plus also it was so warm out. Like I wasn't sure if I would be comfortable in boots because it's unseasonably warm. As for the top, I'm wearing a bodysuit from Wolford. So this is just perfect uh, to pair with the skirt. It's true what they say about girls and the car. This is how we get in. Just on our way, uh, not too much traffic this morning, but look how bright and sunny it is. And it is November. Um, and here we are just driving on Yorkville Avenue. We're going to the Hazelton Hotel. So uh, beautiful day out, uh, like it's unreal. I want you to see this sunshine because literally two days after it was snowing. So, uh, so on our right, just coming up, uh, we see the Chanel flagship boutique and we're just going to head down a bit further um, to the Hazelton. So this is a Chanel beauty event. There's also a Chanel cruise event that is coming up and perhaps I can show you a little bit of that soon as well. But um, you've got the one restaurant. They still have their covered patio. So it's such a gorgeous day. For a change, we were actually early, so we decided to take some photos and mod shots. The event is held in one of the suites at the hotel. They've done them here before as well. Uh, so this is a high tea theme. So this is the food spread. They had some really nice, healthy options as well. And here, this is the setup before everybody arrived. So they've got a lot of the Sublimage products. And if you guys are a fan of Sublimage like I am, 
this will definitely interest you so here's some close-up shots of the products have you guys ever visited if you guys are from toronto have you ever visited the chanel spa at holt renfrew i highly recommend that you do so because they do facials and it is a replica of what the chanel spa was at the ritz in paris and unfortunately at the ritz in paris they've taken that out since the pandemic but they basically have a replica spa treatment room and it's the only one in north america So one thing that you guys have to get is this Sublimage Gel to Oil. It's a makeup remover, but it's also a cleanser as well if you don't even wear makeup. Oh my gosh, this is the best product ever. It's not that expensive and I use it daily. So it goes on so well. It's like a gel, you rub it in, it turns into an oil. And then when it comes into contact with water, it becomes this milk and all your makeup and crud comes off. It is absolutely good. So please go and get it. This is absolutely amazing. You're supposed to stick your face in here. Yes. This machine was really cool. It analyzes your skin. Okay, so these are some factors. And then what results are you looking for? Oh, I want radiant. I want smooth. I want firm. <laughs> uh, I guess rested look at uh, look and then even skin texture. I don't know about my jawline. I don't think I can really change that. <laughs> So all these I want. What is your preferred uh, texture? So for um, like skincare, I guess, yes. right? Yes. I think I, I can't. I guess in between for the winter, like a, mm, I kind of like fluid and cream. Okay, so fluid, light cream, cream. I think with rich cream, I get really greasy. Tightness after cleansing, sometimes. Oh, oops. What types of face care products do you use? Okay. Um, so I have uh, serum, I have lip care, eye care, I have lotion, cleanser, makeup. I don't know what, it meant, what is meant by fluid, but I do have a. It's just like in terms of like skin. Like some, some people prefer using, uh, okay, I have both. Okay, so everything. <laughs> have you had cosmetic skin procedures such as peels, fillers, or Botox? Um, no, I don't have anything right now. But would you consider maybe I don't know maybe in the future like maybe Botox for like the forehead because like my forehead muscle it like when I'm in the sun like I have to like twitch yeah yeah and it gives me a headache actually so it's not necessarily for wrinkles it's just because it's annoying but I I think I have to train my muscles to not do that so I don't know maybe in the future but not right now so uh, yes in the future. Yeah. Or no. Let's just say clear. Let's just say no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it looks really good right now. Yeah. I'm so gonna take these clips home. <laughs> oh gosh, this is my face. <laughs> but this is a good score, right? Yes, it's good. So um, the higher the better. Okay, this. so it's 80, 84%. 84% overall. Okay. And then in terms of more specifically glow, smoothness, firmness, and eye, vit eye contour vitality, we're going to run through it um, after. Okay. But on average, so glow 88%, smoothness 81 83 firmness, and eye contour vitality 77%. That's so pretty that's good. good. It's that's my birthday good. tomorrow, so I'm getting older. <laughs> <laughs> that's good that's good news that's a good way to like age one year yeah. <laughs> so glow you're perfectly even toned even skin uh, even textured skin yeah so uh, your skin really optimally reflects light it's very radiant yeah um, in terms of skin evenness you're at 96% 72% for skin texture and skin surface 75% I'm getting such a confidence boost from this <laughs> no I know it really helps it really helps <laughs> <laughs> so your skin has very smooth appearance, which is 
all thanks to the quality of your epidermis. Um, so frown lines, you have none, even though you were saying that you keep frowning, like you're like, like twitching your eyebrows. Yeah, you I, like I, I, I kind of like squeeze my, like not, I lift my eyebrows a lot, so. <laughs> Yeah. So that's good. Um, and then forehead wrinkles as well. You're at eighty one percent, so okay. that's also excellent. Oh good. Uh, seventy four percent for eye wrinkles. Okay. So firmness, uh, 83% is very good, it shows no signs of sagging, which can appear in the form of smile lines or under eye bags. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so again, 92% smile line, 93% eye bags. The marionette line is really this. So you know like how like the marionette dolls, they have like that, oh, yes, that yes, line yes. here. Oh yeah, 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 on the chin. Yeah. yeah, so that's also really good. You're at 86%, so no concerns there. Mm -hmm. um, eye contour vitality is very good. It is t um, toned and shows no signs of aging or fatigue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so eye contour vitality also again under our bag 93%, eye mm -hmm. wrinkle what 74%. The only concern would be the crow's feet at 58%. Yeah. I do notice that a little bit now. <laughs> it's from smiling though. It is, it is. Yeah. You're a happy person, I'm so happy person, of course. Yeah. That happens. Ritual. Okay. So the skincare ritual we're gonna go into Sublimage. Yeah. Um. So, uh, they're, what what they're recommending you based on your skin analysis mm -hmm. is um the lotion supreme. I have that. The eye cream. I have that. <laughs> and the l'extra de nuit. I don't have that one. I have the Lumiere. The Lumiere. So the, yeah. the Lumiere is good for morning. Okay. But this one is really more for the nighttime. So it mm -hmm. rejuvenates your skin during the night, and then you wake up with like really like nice looking. Okay. Which you okay. needed skin. Okay. Um, and then I think because you've suggested that you prefer like more liquid um, yeah. moisturizer, it yeah. did suggest you the, the, the fluid. fluid. Okay. Um, I would say the next one anyway is a really good one. It's so my that personal and that favorite. I should get. It's okay. my personal favorite, this one. It's uh, life changing. For okay. me, it was. It was my first, the first Sibri Mash serum I tried, and I really could see like the difference when I started. Yeah. So after this, I would use this and then this on top. Yes. Okay. And I have the sublimage cream, so do I put that on top of that or leave it? It really depends. Okay. Um, you can try to do it on top of it, just mm -hmm. if you really want extra, extra, extra yeah. moisture. But if you feel like, oh, you want to be more, you know, if you're wearing makeup after, I would say keep the fluid and then put your makeup on. Yeah. But and then at nighttime, I can layer it. Exactly. So, so those two I should get. Yeah. Okay. Good. And then Nancy's gonna walk you through all of this. Sure. She, so I'm gonna send you this results. Oh, okay, that's fun. perfect. Yeah. So you're gonna be able to show it to Nancy. Okay. She's going to be able to walk you through it. She's also gonna give you some tips for, for the massage. Okay. Massage. Yeah. Um, perfect. So, yeah. Thank you. You're very welcome. So this is what I was recommended, and this is what I bought. And now we are off to lunch. Exactly. I call them smart. That's so pretty. Wow. Look at that. It's like little roses. Kind of. <laughs> okay, so we're done our lunch and I'm just walking over to Emez. I have to pick up an order and I thought I'd give a mini review on these loafers if you could see them. I thought I was filming them as I was walking. But overall, pretty comfortable. Uh, no breaking in. I got true to size. I'm a size 40 and I've got wide feet. So they've done uh, pretty well. They were not hurting me at all or rubbing in any way. So um, so I did have an appointment at Hermes, a tentative one, but the sales associate was busy with another client. 
So I went in, but then I thought that I can come back and just uh, run some other errands. Okay, we're back. So I'm just gonna quickly go upstairs. I did have to wait a little bit for the sales associate to finish up with another client. So they are taking walk-ins as well. And you can make a tentative appointment, but if there is somebody that walks in, they get served first. But anyway, I really like this jacket. Uh, this is really nice. I didn't get the price on it, but I thought it looked really good. These are the fresh boots, super lightweight. Since I was across the street anyway, I had a pre-order to pick up at Prada and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to pick it up and put it in the car and they're setting up for tonight's event anyway, so might as well just get a little preview before I return. So today is the official launch of the holiday collection. I was super, super excited with these gorgeous gold colored crystals i got a little bit of a preview of one piece about a couple of weeks before and i was all over it i saw it in another style and i was in love with these gold crystals and everything gold you guys know how obsessed i am this is the prada re-edition so as you know the re-edition 2005 i believe it comes with the additional cargo strap with the little pouch and then it has a chain handle um, it came in the plain nylon of course but then also in these gold crystals um, and then you've got like a plain like safiano leather version here as well and then here you have the crystal re-edition classic without the additional straps so this doesn't come with that uh, chain strap it comes with more of like a seatbelt uh, style strap and look at the metallic leather on this so this uh, I would have liked it to have a chain strap but I can't be bothered with all the additional stuff so look how stunning these crystals look this is how it is in real life um, absolutely stunning stunning like it's even more unreal in, in in real life actually to be honest now this is a really interesting bucket bag as well it's more of a structured bucket but it's more of an open style i really like that one and then of course you have like the safiano um, classic totes like a mini tote that you can take out um, to the evening but you can also wear during the day these are some shoes that are out. I did try this block heel version on and I'm still on the fence about it. I'm kind of tempted. Look at these running shoes. Oh my gosh, stunning. And then uh, this is the bucket bag that I spotted in the regular white crystals and then they have it in this gold. Oh my gosh. So this reminded me of, so you know in like Indian and Pakistani outfits, sometimes they will take the same material, gather it up and make it into like a little, um, a little bucket bag almost. Wow. So um, this reminded me of that, but in a Prada version. <laughs> so look how stunning it looks. I was really, really, really tempted by this one. And then this is the Prada re-edition with the additional strap and the pouch. So the pouch is completely detachable. You can attach it to your keys. Um, Costco card can fit in there. I just don't have a bucket bag. I'm just reassessing and trying on the re-edition 2005 without the extra cargo strap. Just looking at the chain strap drop, uh, it's a little bit longer than the regular re-edition 2000. I love a metal chain. This is the regular re-edition 2000 with that sort of fabric strap. And to be honest, I prefer this better because I feel like the shape of the bag is maintained versus the chain handle that yanks on the ends and distorts the, the shape of the bag. This structured open bucket style bag is so gorgeous, super nice. Um, I I just I just have to try it on. But like, look at all of them together. Like you can't go wrong. Here's a comparison between the reedition 2000 and the reedition 2005, and then reedition 2000 with the bucket bag. So you can get a side by side comparison. And here's the bucket bag with that more structured bucket. Oh gosh, they're really, really stunning. 
And this is kind of like a patent leather uh, structured clutch. I've seen this before. Um, I think I would scratch the crap out of that one, but also really pretty. It was actually kind of pricey though, as compared to the crystals, but really, really pretty. And here are some small leather goods. So you can get card holders, the phone cases, this mini triangle bag is like a two-in-one. So it splits open into two and you can carry it as like a twin set or as a bag on its own. Um, really, really nice one and it opens up fully. I was intrigued by this crystal jacket. It's organza and it has crystals all over it. It was like $12,000, crazy. I thought I'd try on this nylon dress. It's got crystals at the top. Uh, it looks kind of like a fancy apron, but we're here for it. I was more so concerned about the noise, but it's okay, it's bearable. So this is um, the item code that I've shown before, and this is how it looks. I think it looks really cool. Like, I mean, if I had like a white top, like or a white collared shirt underneath, I think it would look really nice. It's um, definitely really nice. Pair it with some tights and some boots. I think it'll look really good. I'm in love with these glasses. Look at the effect of the lens. It's so pretty, so interesting. Very dainty gold frames with a little bit of a Prada triangle logo on the uh, arm of the lens and it just looks so nice I'm, I'm really tempted i really really do like them i like that cat eye shape so i'm gonna think about these i've got some time before the product event so i'm going to pop into holt renfrew real quick to pick up the skincare that i purchased Look at this gorgeous fall winter Deauville shopping tote in calfskin and this sort of like tweed. It is stunning. Okay, let's look through Balmain. I actually got this um, cotton blazer on sale at Louisa Via Roma, so I'm just like comparing prices because Black Friday's coming up. But uh, this is a bit of the selection, so that's the price there and um they've got a bunch of other stuff that i've seen online and so just getting a feel for the fabrics this puffer is pretty cool as well that's the price but you know online you can get a better deal um it's really nice this is a really great hound's tooth print this is the blazer i'm talking about it's a like cotton pk uh material very comfortable here's a swimsuit really cool And look at this shoe so this is really interesting look at this art installation and if you take a close-up look it's made out of pots and pans isn't that so cool like look how this is made absolutely stunning and then they have like like wow like I love how this is put together look at the heel Okay, so not cute. What on earth are these flippers? I don't even know how I'd walk in these. How much are these anyway? What is the price? Oh gosh. 2100 plus tax. What do we like? What do we think? What do we think, you guys? These are very Mo Sylvester from Mock and Mock. So their shoes are actually pretty true to size and I have the silver ones, very comfortable. Look at these colored mules. I actually really like these, no straps to contend with. And this orange is like, gosh, it's so, so nice. Look at that effect.
It's so dark already. So we're back at the Prada event. So this is the event to debut the holiday collection. Thought I'd just take you around and uh, show you a bit of what's happening. So they're serving, um, you know, cocktails, mocktails, uh, basically looking at all the stuff that I've shown you already. Sorry? What are you drinking? It's a mocktail. I don't know what it is. Uh, <laughs> Everyone's taking yeah. a picture of your cake. Of your cake is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> we should put some gold bags around it. <laughs> Look at all that gold. <laughs> so update on these loafers so far. Honestly, no breaking in. They've been wonderful. No achy feet. I'm wearing like a no-show little sock hat with it, but I've caught wide feet, you guys, and these did not rub at all. I went true to size, size 40. This is a regular width loafer. And I was basically walking around all day in these for several hours and no issues. So I popped into another Prada that is not too far away. Uh, we've got three locations in the city. They've got more items. Look at this baseball cap, all covered in gold, gold crystals. So stunning. And then, then I saw this adorable mini bucket bag. Look at how stunning that is. It's got a chain strap. It's like a piece of jewelry. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm trying to justify it. Look how stunning that is. What did I put in here? Like cards? A car key? Okay, what fits? It's a triangle, and if you think practicality, there's this one here. This one would definitely fit your cards. So this in itself, not really, but you can put a card in there if you wanted to. You can definitely put lipsticks, <laughs> right? I don't have to justify this. <laughs> Car key. Let's go membership. It can. It can. You know, you can do it, right? It's adorable. So this is 2400 right? Here is a comparison of the mama bucket bag with the baby, itty bitty baby bucket bag. I thought I took more footage of a comparison, but I think I got a little carried away, but this is how they look. Okay, thanks everyone for watching this vlog. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed and got a nice sense of what some of these events are like. Um, it's nice to have these back uh, up in full force now that things are reopened again. Of course, you have to be safe, but still it's really nice that we can have these events again. And I hope you got to enjoy some of the eye candy that I showed you. I will see you next time. Bye.